What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana and in this episode we are fighting potentially the last engagement against the Ottoman forces if we win. This army and these three armies to the north will be repelled and pushed away from Yerevan which will fall swiftly under the forces of this general here whose name I am forgetting whose army is completely fresh. Hopefully we can win with just the forces we've got and, and then we don't need to call in the reinforcements they can charge forward and take Yerevan. There's a chance we still might have to call them in um, but we'll find out. So the, the things to look out for is risks of souls. When the risks of souls are coming in we're, we're getting towards the end. I mean there's a chance that they might well they don't they might this is the thing about reinforcements is I don't know if they just follow one army or they f bring in like dribs and drabs of both at the same time so I don't know. Hand mortars, risks of souls. Keep a lookout for them. Radio. Let's go and fight. Because so we are being attacked. So we shall be on the defensive. And we will be maximising our use of artillery fire. Because I, I, lots of my units are depleted. Which means they're already putting out fewer shots. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if... Well, I would imagine a smaller unit still has a relative a relatively reduced amount of ammunition like each guy has the same number of shots uh they don't you don't have the same ammo split between um a, a small number of men so let's get some guns set up let's get my okay let's put my slightly depleted infantry in the center put our mega gun battery which is Bargdon shouldn't ever have four. There, let's put uh, three units on the right flank. Sepoys are out on the flank, that's okay, they're going to be supported by cavalry. And the other flank are going to be three regular line infantry companies. I might actually put this unit in the centre, so now these depleted lines, when I stretch them out, will have three ranks. I mean, some of them still have four, but it means they will use up their ammunition slightly slower. So let's group them together. So we have East India Company Cavalry on the left, and we've got our howitzers, and then we're going to really need to use these howitzers well. Otherwise, the end could be near this army and I'm also hoping re the deployment doesn't screw me over you guys are going to fire shrapnel shot because you've actually got you've got range and there's no actual artillery on the field to worry about so the howitzers the leftmost gun focus on that Nizam unit, the central 12 pounder unit, go for that unit of archers because they're in an excellent position. This unit here also hit that unit of archers. We have some Mamelukes running around the flank and because the the uh, the right flank is being abandoned, not abandoned, but we're going to advance our infantry on the left and we're going to bring our cavalry over onto this flank as well. So the shrapnel shot's still coming in. I should really actually make them pick slightly more impressive targets. Well, not impressive, but just better. Let's just pivot my infantry. My cavalry's running. We've got camel gunners. Quick climb coming in. Good hits, good hits. So we've got Kurdish Hillman and Armenian archers pushing the left flank. Okay, let's a push on the right flank and get our howitzers focusing on other targets. Get my cavalry to sit on the right. You blast the archers, you guys blast the Mamelukes, you guys 
blasting the enemy there. I'm hoping these units can knock out the archers fairly rapidly. Yeah, the Mamluks are holding. Except I don't want to completely isolate this unit of mercenaries here. Let's start canister shotting the Mamluks. You guys can start canister shotting the Semini. Drop these units into square. Archers have been knocked out. So let's advance that wing of troops. Okay, you guys start blasting. No, see my gunners, they got they got touched by the cavalry and they've decided no. Okay. Deploy my cavalry against the enemy, get these troops out of square and forming line. Okay, you guys need to pivot because we can't rely on artillery fire. You guys round shot those archers there. All our cavalry is needed to fight the Mamelukes. They're hitting our gunners, so let's just get our... To be honest, there's not a lot we can really do about that. The Nizam are on the charge. I mean, I'm trying to roll up the right flank. And there's only so much of that I can actually do. So I want my gunners to run away. If I can knock out the Mamelukes quickly, that would be great. But I don't think I'm going to get to do that. Enemy general's been killed. Push up my line. There's one unit of troops that's been knocked out. You guys push on and charge the Armenian archers because there's not a lot else you can really do. You guys try hit the camel nomads. My generals had to go into combat because there's not a lot else I can really make him do. You guys can just continue to round shot the archers until they're broken. Let's try and get my artillery. Okay, the leftmost unit attack ground here. If you guys could kill the Mamelukes, that'd be great. So you're needed to attack the archers. The hillmen are doing damage. My general's fallen, but that's to be expected. You're fighting the Nizam one on one. My this general here is going to come running in. So we are engaging the Armenian archers. My howitzers are done for. Okay, let's get free up one cavalry unit from this mess. Colonial lights continue to engage the Mamelukes. You're needed to fight the hillmen. The general's coming, storming in. You guys form square to protect the flank. You guys push up to continue the trap. You men all advance. Not efficient, but efficient enough. So my light cavalry are going to beat the Mamelukes. You guys can't really fight anyone usefully. Good, the attack ground on the position is working. You two units both attack the Nizam here. You men form square to protect yourself from the camels. Here comes the generals, hit the hillmen. You guys engage the camel nomads. We've still got engagement here in the centre. Let's bring you cavalry. You fight the hillmen out in the out in the on the uh, out in the distance. So you're fighting the Semini. You guys form square. You guys charge the hillmen. Push up. You guys kill the Mamelukes, preferably. 
good. Let's bring some more infantry down here to help fight you guys. You guys hit the hillmen. Hit the next general has fallen. Okay, you units, position here up Brett, and you're going to drop into squares. Six pound a horse artillery. Position up on this hill, ready to engage the enemy. You guys deploy round shots. Let's get this cavalry up into the fight. Let's get the cavalry around here. This infantry can all push over to here. This three pounder artillery can also position on the hill. That's 12 pounder. I mean, they're not going to be alive for very long, I would guess. You guys get out of square. Make sure these guys stay in square. Charge the camel nomads. Yeah, see, that's where the enemy cavalry is coming from. So that's why some stuff here would be useful to have. These units fall back. This unit blast is ours with shrapnel shot. This infantry unit position yourselves to help protect this small artillery emplacement. You guys charge the archers there. Form a new battle line. I'll form a new battle line see they're still attacking ground I should really have edited that you guys dump back into square again everyone's running Rogers Rangers you guys also deploy they can also pick off some of these artillery units to the rear so the cavalry is still engaging there You're engaging. Oh, the Mamelukes are going to knock out my cavalry there. So you guys hit. Canister shot the Armenian archers. So we're still in square against the Tartar. That's safe. Bring my colonial light cavalry up to bear. You guys round shot the howitzers. Yeah, a bit of a bit too aggressive quick climbing there. So this unit can hold. Pretty confident about that. Okay, let's switch my howitzers to round shot and begin to engage. The enemy over there. I like what's going on here, but they are just abandoning. They're not going to bother to push here. I mean, they are shooting it with artillery. But as these two units retreat, we'll bring more men into the fight. I mean, it's not my general's bodyguard anymore, but let's act like they've at least got a part to play. Uh, you guys dropped out of square. That's a shame. So. This horse artillery unit can begin to shrapnel shot the Tartar. Yeah, I've got one unit. One unit blasting the enemy. One unit engaging their artillery. I could push up, to be honest, maybe I should push up. Or maybe I should focus fire. The artillery they've got coming in because they're actually doing some real damage to my my guns the light cavalry to engage the tartar get the guns up here to shrapnel shot the armenian archers to begin quick climbing as tr as is tradition i could push these guys up but i don't want to because they're actually doing okay I might push these rangers up. 
might actually push them up a little bit. Because they're pounding the artillery really well. My native warrior auxiliary can also push up. So here come the Tartar cavalry. So you guys shrapnel shot those Armenian archers. We're going to pour fire into the Tartar. They're going to skirmish us. We've got good artillery shots on the way. Whoa, where are you? Oh, I must have accidentally ordered you to do something. Kill a few guys there. Let's run these guys up in the event that the camels try to get up to any mischief. These are the only two artillery units they have. Another infantry unit is pretty great. retarget the howitzers let's get my okay good I was about to get my general's cavalry on the right flank switch to round shot because they can lob round shot a bit better I mean we've got an opportunity to do some really good damage to their troops here but I didn't want to draw them away from their uh current actions against my main battle line. That's the problem. So if you bring them in here, okay, now you're needed. Charge down the Armenian archers. Everyone else here is going to get repulsed with musket fire. Oh good, there comes some colonial light cavalry. Yeah, so they're starting to fire... Well, they're firing how it says at us. So let's start to position my men strategically. So the camel, yeah, they are becoming aware that we're here doing stuff. Yeah, they're going to start to abandon the assault on this position because it's going to become too dangerous. The general has broken, but he's also broken the... Well, he's not the general anymore. Bring the native warriors down here. Yeah, the camel gunners... The camel, my cavalry have taken a... a blasting. Let's try run my cavalry through to try hit their archers. Let's try and advance a little bit because they have light riflemen that might try and do something not quite what we want. So the fourth are wavering after losing only four men, which is surprising. You men attack the archers. Native Warrior Auxiliary have lost a lot of men, but I'm hoping I can even that up by clearing up some of these archers in pretty short order. I'm bringing in more reinforcements. What are you? Curious, yeah, perfect. So you guys keep attacking the Armenian archers. So you guys are coming right down here. You guys charge the hand mortar block. Hey, hand mortars, eh? You guys have routed, but you've now come back. No, 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 no. Carry on doing what you're doing. You guys... No, don't hit the Bashis. You guys position to go take out their one remaining gun team. The Bashis can be engaged by my 12-pounder artillery piece. You guys round shot that unit of archers so you men are fighting those archers pretty well there we go my crossy air will knock out the camel gunners okay now you guys can't make that actually you might might have to shoot at targets a bit further over their heads so I don't want to 
I don't want to do... You might go actually try help out the main battle line. You guys have a reasonable amount of ammunition to beat these guys. They are guards units, but you should be okay. The cuirassiers are going to knock down the camel gunners in short order. You get over there and fight those archers. My cuirassier onwards into the bashi bazooks. My native warriors come back up the line. We haven't got any reinforcements coming in in a minute. Actually, you guys might go try help the Bashis. Might go help my uh, Curacier. You guys, shrapnel shot that unit of Nizam on the right flank. Royal Cairo infantry guards are up to no good. You men advance up to threaten that unit of infantry guards you guys pivot to face off that unit of Nizam you guys are going to split yourselves 50-50 to fight both threats so you men just pour fire into them as much as you can Curacier knock out well, their, their job is going to be to knock out as many enemy units as they can. I think they might have actually... Yeah, this is it. The Riskers of Souls are on the field. They've run out. So obviously we've got Armenian archers at point-blank range. But I'm hoping units like the 1st Regiment of Foot Colonial Line can prove their worth and knock out these seventy. One more volley. No, nope, nearly. Let's get my cuirassier after the general's bodyguard. My infantry form a line more towards the threat axis. Let's get my big artillery to focus on the riskers of souls. 12 pounder can quick climb them once they get within range and I'm hoping I can lure them in so keep my cuirassier on the move yeah, the general's bodyguard have routed let's get my this how it's yet to try and attack ground they fired so they're going to miss most of their shots. You guys attack the Riskers of Souls. This unit of archers is going to fall under massed musketry. Yeah, that cavalry can chase down the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. Let's try and maximize a bit of firepower so I think the riskers of souls are going to end up being the only things on the field I mean they can try and okay round shot them because they're in they're a bit further back we've blown a hole in their line with our quick line yeah they're in an artillery crossfire and they're soon going to start to get engaged by my Infantry, yep, yeah, there they go. It's the last unit on the field. This unit of Semini. Ah, the Armenian archers came back as well. Yeah, there we go, just targeting them for destruction with my artillery was enough. Cease fire all guns. So my Cuirassier are going to chase down the Riskers of Souls. My Colonial Light Horse are chasing down these guards. But victory is ours. Okay, then go chase down that unit of archers because there's only one of them. Oh, you're not going to make it. To be honest, there, there aren't many other units on the field that you're going to actually annihilate. The Riskers of Souls would be good to kill because even though we've established we can shoot them pretty well, yeah, they're going to walk the howitzer off. But that got pretty dicey. 
that was pretty good. That was a pretty good battle. I think it was fitting for their final destruction to actually give us a challenge. I mean, this force, like it lost the general and they got hammered. So back you go. And back all of you go. So Sweden are rebalancing after our attack on St. Petersburg that wasn't... A, it was a city that wasn't even really pretend, protected. They may attempt to try and intercept some of our efforts to capture or to siege their cities. But I like the progress we're making. You are going to fall back. Same with this militia force. Good. They're all going to Oh, I was going to say, I thought they were all going to focus on Petrovskaya. Oh, I'm going to auto it, despite the balance of power. Because, yeah, we should win. Because we've already fought that battle before. Yeah, Sweden is raiding their way around Ufa. But again, this is why we're bringing up another army for support. And also Dagestan, they demand money to be a protectorate. No. We're coming after you. We're going to clear you out. There will no be nothing left of your empire. Well, except all your buildings and walls and stuff like that. So, let's get our rake on to... Let's get this rake on to Kiev. It's got a lot of stuff to do. So we've got a pretty... We're going to have some pretty hairy battles around in North in North um, Italy, which is pretty cool. Let's upgrade this water mill. So this force here at Cologne. Yeah, Maximilian Ulysses Brown. Looks like they might attempt to try and get up to some shenanigans. But they have to go... Well, we can at least get you... You can go here to block the passage through this set of trees you're not fully replenished but you are able to attack them so let's make sure our armies i mean you could attack them as well but you 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 would push them the wrong way okay i think we have to approach this methodically yeah okay so yeah you're gonna hold out um in the channel we've got this Bavaria force that is also holding on you're replenishing ready to attack Corsica you are replenishing you can actually do something so let's get you up to Porto embark you men aboard ship because this army doesn't have howitzers, they are... Oh, okay. I need to take... I mean, what is it? It's a sloop. So let's take one of my third rates just to block Oran. This sloop here can actually sail over to Algiers to begin the push. Yeah, there's no one there. Okay, you guys have landed. We... Could potentially have you know, can't go to there. Then you can sail back to Porto. So Morocco is getting used to their status as a a it's a uh, a nation under the mighty flag of Louisiana. So this dockyard, you're going to build two sloops to occupy these ports. You're sieging East Prussia. You're waiting for Gdansk to be ready. But I want to take Mr. Suffren to go up here and hit Eugen Eugen Rwala. So we can get a whole brace of upgrades here. Antoine LaSalle mentioned the dispatches and a confident general. Good. Um, Theodore's heir is growing in strength. So you're probably going to chase down Helmer Haxel. You're going to push to the northwest. 
Force of Astrakhan needs to replenish badly. Build some basic roads. I mean, we can make some excellent progress towards Dagestan, but I think you can... Well, it'll, it'll draw in all of these Ottoman remnants, but I think it would, would be a, a good idea to knock out the Ottomans once and for all. Actually, no, this won't knock them out once and for all. I'm a dummy. Um, they've still got Damascus and Jerusalem. I'm sure there's a couple of guys already going, You idiot! Don't you know your own map? No. No, I don't. Um, but still, we can crush the, the seat of Ottoman power and just swing west with all our strength. I mean, I'd probably like to send three armies towards Ankara, one to actually attack the city, and two just to blow right past it and cross over to Istanbul. Let's really start to open up more fronts. Okay, so a bit of a weird position. So let's say we're going to trawl our guns up. Actually, no, let's not say that. Let's say two of them are going to be deployed over here to do some useful engagements on the flank. We're going to trawl two sets of guns up the hill. Our howitzers are going to support our assault with quick line fire. form a great line although there's probably lots of farm implements and stuff in the way so if you go there you shouldn't get your heads blown off by artillery fire cover on either flank i'm i'm kind of counting on the fact that the uh, enemy reinforcements will be so depleted wherever they mass we can easily break off and deal with them Especially when they all come in from the best direction. Yes, you guys are engaging. Can the 18 pounders not engage? Let's push. Push both flanks. Fortunately, they're relatively close to the back of the map so if we can push up into their faces then they will uh, be destroyed quite quickly so let's take a selection of troops to represent the key offensive line that's very ambitious but i think it's worth doing two units are going to block off the town and then u4 going to threaten their their right flank sorry about that that was pretty rapid onset I know we're gonna tr was gonna troll my guns out but I think it's not gonna be super useful now yeah but in comes the quick line focusing on the 135th Armenian archers, the handful of camels, Mamelukes that are running. Yeah, I'd like to try and take the position before they get there, but I don't think they're going to let me. Even if I have to initially scrap over it, I'll accept that as a win. So you guys just dump into square. My howitzers are going to limber up. You guys are going to stop. Are gonna, are gonna be fire it well off. Bring my cavalry up rapidly. There we go. This is the position I wanted. It's even my sepoys. My sepoys can do some good damage there. Yep. So that you of Mamluks has been broken. You guys drop into square because they're coming. Now they no longer are, so you can continue to advance as usual. You men advance through the town, because if they come after you, you can just deploy into square. How it says advance up. Okay, yeah, no. So they're routed, then they came back. So they're going to kill a few of my foot guards. Let's 
run my cavalry out of the way. So this unit of Maison de Maison uh, should be engaging those Azar. So that suggests yeah, one guy was left knocked over from artillery. So he's or he was he slow rolled his way over the uh, over the bridge. You guys are now going to be fire at will on because you've got some lovely things to shoot at. Various flavors of cavalry. Are you charging? Yeah, you're charging. Your bayonets are up. Drop into square. These Azars are running into running up into point blank range against a unit that has the high ground. They only got they only had a hundred of them when they started. Ooh, brave men. Okay, you guys are all caught up now. There we go, reload. Camel nomads are getting into a Bit of attack war against my infantry. Let's take these units, advance them off the hill, because these Azar are just going to sit, well, traditionally, sit out of range and skirmish. These Armenian archers are not going to last too long. There goes those camels. To march these infantry up. Yeah, you guys don't chase down the general because that will they'll lead you in front of enemy troops. Instead try to get a cheeky charge off against those Armenian archers. Where's my other cavalry? Let's run them up because it looks like we've got archers here, archers here. They can do some good stuff. You men are going to clear out those Azar pretty rapidly once you open up. Yep, down they go. I mean, bless, they're trying to they are trying to shoot me. Let's kill a few more to make sure they're shattered and then run my cavalry back to the line. You men position like so. You're still within the firing arc. Okay, those are have been wiped out. Let's push up this flank. Let's take you guys and position you against this threat. Let's bring our, cam our cavalry back behind the line. You are positioning ready to fight against those archers that are about to join the field. You men are going to position like so, because your firing arc will allow them to also fire against the Armenian archers. Yeah, they are. Getting lots of shots off. And there's our infantry, general's bodyguard, lots of Skirmish troops. Yeah, let's advance you guys up again. You men charge down the archers here. There's another unit joining the field. And I could be getting my general involved in all this. So they're going to kill a few of my men. But we are going to get into range. We are going to join the combat. It's not going to be fun for you. You guys get into square. It's another Azar unit wiped out. There's the general's bodyguard. I mean, they can continue to fight me in open formations. Well, in regular formations if they like. So I'm going to say you guys to chase them down and kill them. You're doing good, jam good damage against the enemy there. The Delhi horsemen are upset. Get my 
the cavalry out again. Looks like, to be honest, once those archers are in, that's the last of their troops. So position yourselves once more. There we go, they've attacked us again. Couple of units of archers that have ganged up. Oh no, so archer and a howitzer. So get you guys out of square. Let's see if you can lure the Delhi horsemen into attack. Yeah. Back into square. We're now starting to win against the archers. Now I can bring my artillery to bear. So you managed to scare the Bellin musketeers to actually advance towards my line. Attack the Semini, see if you can break them. You can. So let's pivot this line so it's not shooting at my... Not shooting at my uh, general. Not my general. My, my cavalry that's in combat. You guys charge on to kill the Delhi horsemen. This cavalry is going to combine to fight the archers. Just fight the Delhi horsemen, they're only skirmishing. Send my cavalry on to knock out the 12 pounder. Position you guys to chase off that unit of musketeers. Position you guys to chase off that unit of Semini. ganged up on this unit of Armenian archers, except this cavalry is likely not going to stick around for very long. Womp womp. There we go. And charge on into the Kurdish hillmen. They're going to fire off a couple of shots with these fellaheen. Ceasefire with you. These two units are both going to drop quick climb in front of that hill unit. You guys are going to be fire at will off. You do have a unit of Kurdish hillmen waiting to join the battle. I'm curious actually. It knows they're coming in so we're going to have to wait for them to There's another unit of archers coming. Let's take these two units, bring these units over here as well. Because it looks like we're going to enjoy a few units being killed. So if I run you guys... You guys might actually be in a position to just mob them with musket fire. Because you'll have reloaded by now. I might lose fewer men this way. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would have lost a man in that engagement, and they've been cut down to nearly half. Well, less, they less than half their number. Yes! It wasn't a close victory. It was a bit bloodier than it could have been. Um, but I'm not going to let that sour my enjoyment of this fight. Yeah, so they've not been killed because I'm, I'm, I'm real dumb. It says, retake the Pasha's Palace. You men replenish. Yes, sir. See, all of our troops here are actually yes. <laughs> depleted. You require a new general, and I'm going to pick this unit of... Colonial Light Cavalry, because they did, they did quite a good job. Horace Fouquet. You men replenish. Bastion, you men are replenishing. You guys are replenishing. As I mean, you're in the best nick. So let's... Okay. So you men are going to run. Anatolia. Whoa, okay, maybe not. 
Well, we're going to have to engage these guys. So let's march you guys to cover each other. You march and take the bridge. You march. Let's march you over the bridge. Let's do a bit of intelligence at <laughs> intelligence in force. A couple of armies there. It's good to know. Good to be aware of. Orders, your Majesty, sir. Your orders, sir. Yeah, you guys go join them. So I think. Well, first of all, we're going to take this army under Leopold Beaumarchais. You are going to put Tbilisi under siege. And then we're going to take Jean-Victor Clairot, and we're going to attack Farbar the Rustinpour, because his force can be destroyed and we can push on and siege Tarki. So let's attack, and this will thankfully knock out Dagestan. So that's something at least. We can fight those... Uh... We've got a couple of battles still to fight before we end the turn. Obviously we've got some of those Ottoman forces near... Uh, Ankara that we need to actually attack and push out of the region. We also need to make the decision of when we're going to attack Jerusalem because they've got quite a pocket of troops there. So all my horse artillery is going to hunker down and engage. They've got chiefly a line infantry and regiment of horse force which will not be well equipped or trained so our best option is to try and maintain the offensive momentum. So you men advance, these men advance up the hill. Yeah, they're charging their cavalry, they can do that. It won't help them. So you guys are all going to open up on the new... Met, the new um, oh, actually, you guys are all going to... Yeah. Just fight their cavalry, it's weak. Yeah, I had to, sat I had to risk killing my own men here. I couldn't let them get through to my guns because that would be far too frustrating. Although, I might have to keep my cuirassier there. You guys push on and fight the regiment of horse. And lots of cavalry, penny packets of infantry coming in. Let's charge my cuirassier down as a bit of a dare. You know, do they... Oh, artillery, switch to... Keep dropping quick climb right there. Because that wasn't actually too bad of a hit. But yeah, let's get my... Cuirassier charging as a bit of a, a dare. Do they come and stop me? Guys drop into square. And the light cavalry is fighting a small regiment of horse. The enemy general has been felled. So you charge the regiment of horse here. You guys. Get out of formation. Let's try and hit some of these early troops. I might actually just turn my howitzers off to stop the most devastating of friendly fire incidents. Cross the air, you take the first ooh, excellent artillery shots against such a small target as well. Curiosiero chopping down their regiment of horse. Hey, 
Hey, am I cursing our routing? From what? Must be artillery fire. Not that it really matters. I wonder if we've got the firepower to take him out. I mean, look. <laughs> they've, they've got hardly any clusters of troops. I mean, most of their guys don't actually have... I'm sure you guys have been... Sh oh, it was um, stakes that got you. Yeah, fair enough. Chapman's bodyguard trot down into the safety here. Thought my cuirassier would come back. Let's just speed up time a little bit because they've just got a bunch of infantry without good equipment or firing drills to try and stop us. So many men let's drop drop some quick climb there my militia my desert warriors can only really engage once they get a bit closer so let's fire off one volley with my quick climbing howitzers just in this general area oh, some landed a bit short and clobbered that regiment of foot so that's enough of you If you guys can knock out the general's bodyguard. I do have a cavalry unit back here. If you want to try and do anything sneaky. My militiamen are... Don't run away. Yeah, there's the 13th regiment. It's still fighting. Yeah, they didn't really stand that much of a chance. So this is going to hopefully knock out... Well, it'd be nice to kill this general. Stop the artillery from firing, although you are getting... Must be friendly fire that's causing you issues, but I think... Once the 14th Regiment route, that is it. Dagestan, this empire of empires, doesn't even have fire by rank. Pathetic. There we go. There should be. Yeah, there we go. So there you go, the Dagestan Empire. So they, well, they're not gone, but... Well, <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, they're not in good shape, at least. Ready for Demand the surrender of their city? No. Fair enough. Let's not hold position. Let's maintain our offensive. You men are marching on the road to Chakask. I've got this force back here that got annihilated and is now... Rapidly building reinforcements. Got this force back here. Obviously you're building... You're recruiting artillery pieces because we don't have... Well, you have to build them from a very particular type of building. So let's just dump the, dump the guns off the coast. You... You require five units of infantry... So we've dumped the guns, get you guys back to Bombay. Let's just march them up. You three of them can specifically go to the city. And then that means you guys need some heavy cavalry, so get a cuirassier and get a guard to cork. You must have lost one. Good stuff. Upgrade the weaver's cottage. Back down infrastructure is pretty good. So we're probably gonna go for a city attack here in order to knock back these other Ottoman armies. We're going to mop these guys up. We've got Tbilisi secured. I mean, you guys might just auto-resolve this fight because they're all pretty depleted. 
and unbowed. Forward, march. We haven't got to worry about really securing anything. Let's break the university. Bastion Perot also take the road to Cherkask. Horace Fouquet also is going to go this direction. This force at Yerevan. You can leave the city. So we're going to build a church school. And you are going to also march towards Ankara. But I'd like to take this army and hit... Oh, you're out of range. It's going to have to be one of you. I'd probably like it to be Adrian Marie uh, Sanse. First of all, let's actually check. We've not got any um, fleets, fleets arrived. Because if I've missed any... Your Majesty. Okay, yeah, you need two infantry units. Get a unit of Western European mercenaries. Don't get colonial line infantry. Get line infantry. Yeah, the Netherlands. We're gathering another force here in Paris. So let's get let's get unit of fusiliers. Let's get. Oh, can't get too much more. Good stuff. Uh, hmm. Not even... Not even Swiss Lion. How disappointing. Broke death, Valentin Ambler. Yeah, we've replenished, we've recreated, we've uh, replaced you, Astrakhan. Yeah. You're going to replenish and then push north. Letter of demands from Morocco. So they're, they're okay. Workers are on strike in Morocco. Not, no, they're not. Workers are on strike in Bavaria. Again, no, they're not. Let's upgrade these military buildings. Path blocked. No, your path isn't blocked. You're on the defensive. That's okay. Another path blocked. That's been sorted. Treat gain and mentioned in dispatches. Yeah, some of our guys are pretty kick ass. Uh, so let's combine one of these infantry units with the rest. Free up two spaces. And then this cavalry can go join up with Mr. Suffren. And you could potentially go put Warsaw under siege. You can go and infiltrate Moscow. I'm going to dump a bunch of money in St. Petersburg. Then... Your humble servant. Ready for orders. You guys want cavalry. This infantry is going to combine... You guys want to go and attack this force here. These infantry units, these leftovers are going to combine. So you're going to hold this flank, although you might advance into enemy territory just to stir them up. Courland is now replenished. Still sieging at Konigsberg. Gdansk has been liberated and is now free let's rebuild a sloop to occupy the port let's just upgrade you to a steam dock you men are going to advance out of the city which is okay and march up to support the konigsberg attack then we've got to be honest everything's pretty good i mean at some point we're going to declare on venice and that's fine um, let me just get rid of some of get rid of some of these. So I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we did send them on their way this turn, so it's not a problem. Jean Victor Clairot, confident general, good stuff. And Antoine Antoine Laurent de Salle, steady under fire. Good, you are soon becoming a great general. Pity you're 55, so you're likely to um, cop it. To be honest, we could do a lot worse than just attack Tbilisi. Take the city, clear it out, because we've still got a bunch of fights to do. 
We need to fight this fight at Georgia. We need to fight this fight here. I'm undecided about Jerusalem. I'm just gathering my forces. See, I've got Konigsberg, which if I fight, it will draw in this small stack, but none of these guys, which is quite useful to know. And then I'm going to could do with some more good... Could do with some offensives by the Austrians here so that I can try and eviscerate them with quicklime fire. Although I might... Your Majesty. Yes, sir. I might actually deploy you down here because you're fortified. So if they advance here we can get them to attack the city whereas these guys are on the open field. But, 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 but... Let's take Leopold Beaumarché and attack Tbilisi. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the final destruction of Persia, and the opening up of the Caucasus to our bountiful troops. Cheers everyone.